What's up crew, Chaz here with Side Hustle Network. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to fix the trackpad on a 2011 or 2012 MacBook Pro. So here's what happened. A little story time for you guys. I one day thought it would be funny. My wife was doing a video conference call on this computer with our VIP group and she had her webcam mounted right here. I took our three month old and I thought it'd be funny kind of like just put her face in front of the webcam sideways. Meanwhile, she proceeded to drool and it landed right in the crack. Instantly, the trackpad stopped working. I tore this thing apart, dried it out, took the trackpad out, cleaned it off the best that I could, let it dry out a little bit longer. It worked for a couple of hours, and then it was shot. I don't know what happened, something got fried in there. So I'm going to replace this thing right now, show you guys exactly how to do it. It's actually a very simple process. So whether you are buying and reselling MacBooks, you can oftentimes get these fairly cheap, or if something happens like your baby drools inside the trackpad and you need to fix it, this is gonna show you exactly how to do that step by step. So we did end up finding another MacBook for Trista, so I'm actually going to resell this one. I paid $160 for this. I'm going to fix the trackpad right now, and it has a resale value of about $280, maybe $300. The trackpad cost about $40. So I'm actually going to be up in profit after I resell this thing, but I gotta take a quick few minutes, show you guys how to fix it. All right, so here we have our parts. Just got my generic trackpad. You can get these things between 30 and 40 bucks on Amazon. Also got my handy dandy little toolkit. Again, you can get this on Amazon. If you want these exact ones, I'll put my affiliate links down in the description below. Like I said, this is a very simple fix, so I'm gonna show you guys right now what to do. First, you just want to take off the different screws that are in the back here. Once you have those out, you're simply going to pop this case off. That's what I love about the 2011, 2012, these older MacBook Pros, super easy to work on, lots of stuff is interchangeable. So from here, you have your general components, your CD drive, you got your hard drive, you've got your RAM, your battery, those are the main ones. So your trackpad is actually under the battery, so we're just gonna pop this off. This is where we need to change out that head into, I just call it the tri-tip. And there's a couple different little screws, one on the right side here that holds your battery down. Another one on this left side. And depending which model you have, sometimes the screw is underneath this sticky pad right here. So once you have that, your battery just pops out. You're gonna need to just undo this part right here. And of course, make sure your power is off first before you do any of this. So right here is where your trackpad is going to be. You're gonna have a couple different sets of little screws here. You're just going to wanna take off these outer silver ones. These are basically the bracket that's holding that in place. And as you guys can see, this is a tiny little screw, so do not lose that. Once you have those out, you're simply going to pop this off right here. This is the connection. You're going to lift this open just a little bit so you can slide this out. And this little piece here, you'll just wiggle around. And as you guys can see, that's how simple it is just to remove. Now, how Baby Drool ruined this, I have no idea. But I do know it's a quick fix. So I'm gonna grab the new one here. Now you just reverse everything that you just did. So we're gonna put this in from right here. So we're gonna come in from the bottom, slide this into place. Now the only tricky part is going to be putting this cable back on so you have to kind of wiggle it around so you get that right angle once you have that cable up there you can attach that so it stays in place slide these two little brackets here onto their spots all right once that's back in place we're going to slide our battery back in here Reattach that connector. Now that that is done, we are going to power on and see if it worked. All right, and looks like it moves. So that's a great sign. Let's open up a couple tabs just to confirm. Clicks and all that is going to work 
today's deals. Amazon, let's see what we got going on here. So scrolling, perfect. Clicks, work. Let's do our right click, works. All right, done deal, fixed. So there you go folks, that is exactly how you replace a trackpad in one of the older generations, specifically 2011, same thing will be for 2012, 2010. I haven't done this on a newer MacBook, so I'm not sure if it's the exact same layout. I'm curious if you have done this as well, so comment below, let us know. But I figured this would just be good information in case any of you guys in the reselling community happen to come across a MacBook that has a listing, maybe it's on your local marketplace and somebody's selling it dirt cheap because the trackpad doesn't work, that's a possibility to fix it real quick and fairly inexpensive so that you can then resell and make a profit. Or if your trackpad goes out because of baby drool or another case, this is exactly how you fix it so that you can get back to fully operational trackpad. If you guys enjoy these style of tutorial videos, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. That tells me that you enjoy these types of videos and I will continue producing more of them. And if you have any other tech requests on different repairs, different things that we can help provide content here on the channel, comment below, let us know what type of content you wanna see in the tutorial field. We'll be sure to put in the time, get the work done and get those uploaded for you. This has been Chaz with Side Hustle Network. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next time.